As graduating seniors took their final walk through the halls of their high school, they may be wondering, all right, so what's next? For those heading off to NDSU this fall and are still unsure what they might want to major in, we've got some very, very good news because there's a new major being offered, and it's environmental engineering. So joining us now on our 702 Communications line, 702 Communications, keeping us connected, we've got the chair of the environmental engineering department, David Stewart. Dave, welcome to the show. Happy Friday. Hi, Chris. It's great to be here. Uh, nice to have you with us. So kind of break it down for us. What, what is environmental engineering? What's that degree look like? Yeah, so, so engineers, we design solutions to problems and environmental engineers design solutions for the environment. Um, we, we basically create safe environments for people to live. Uh, so what, what was behind starting that? I mean, it sounds like a great idea. Was it your, your inspiration to get this started or who started it? Uh, it started a couple years ago. There were some industry representatives who contacted us and, and were interested in having a, a bachelor's. We've had a master's in environmental engineering for years. And um, as, as, as an environmental engineer, we, we're, we're, we, we look at problems from a different perspective. We, we get trained in, in, um, in, in air, so, so we look at atmospheric pollutions. We get trained in water, so looking at water pollutions. We get trained in solids, so looking at solids and and, and creating energy from solids, recyclables, uh, microplastics in the environment, uh, nanotechnology. So we look at really small things, things on the size of uh, about a thousand atoms or so. And, and then we also look at, at human health, uh, creating a, an environment safe for people. So, so we got approached by, by leaders of industry and we've been doing surveys, uh, the graduating seniors in civil engineering, we've been polling them for the last couple of years. And, and every single one of them has said, this is a great program. We have uh, friends who we think might be interested in something like this. Good for you. And so then uh, if you go through this four-year environmental engineering degree, what kind of career options are available afterwards? There's the, our industry um, representatives, the leaders in industry, we, we pulled them and there was an immediate need just from the firms we talked to for about 20 graduates a year. Uh, the, the students will work in a wide range of of, of venues all the way from, from industry, uh, working in consulting firms, working for state agencies. Um, we, we have a, a project we just got recently with the division or the Department of Environmental Quality looking at uh, uh, how COVID is shed in wastewater and seeing if we can analyze wastewater to get uh, accounts of the, of the COVID virus within populations. So, so, so state agencies, national agencies, there's, there's a wide range of of, of career options for, for our graduates. Nice. So for maybe you have some families or students out there thinking, hey, that sounds kind of cool. I mean, is it a, a heavy load in like chemistry, physics? What kind of classes would they be taking? Yeah, so, so our students, we, we use the language of mathematics. So there's a lot of math. You have to understand the, the, the kind of how we write our equations. And there's a lot of science. Um, engineers are different from scientists. Scientists are trying to discover new things. And, and what engineers do is we use that discovery. We work hand in hand with a lot of scientists because we have real problems we're trying to solve and we work with the scientists to get the understanding. So there's a lot of science. Um, students that, that come to engineering typically are strong in math and sciences, and then we give them additional things beyond that. Environmental engineers, as I said, it, it's, it's gas, liquid, and solids, and human health. So there's additional courses in those area. Um, our, our students start off with an introduction to environmental engineering and they move into microbiology for environmental engineers and kind of go from there. Nice. So when, uh, when is, is this degree or uh, program going to be available and how do students get enrolled? Yeah, so it's, it's starting this fall. Um, it took a two years to, to move through the, through the approval process at the North Dakota uh, 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 regions area, or re regions. And so it, it's just been approved and, and we're offering to for the first year. Um, uh, we, we welcome students that are interested in this area. It's, it's, a, it's a chance to really make a difference. There's a lot of students with, with aptitudes and interest in this area, and uh, they're certainly welcome to get in, in touch with us if, if they'd like more information. Um, we also have quite a bit of information out there on our web pages, so there's, there's a lot of information to kind of get started. Nice. And what's the website? Uh, www.ndsu.edu slash CEE, Civil and Environmental Engineering. Great stuff. David, thank you so much for the time. We appreciate it, and uh, have a great Friday, okay? Thank you. You too. Thank you. All right, stay with us. we got a lot more coming up right after this.